Governor Bruce Rauner's veto of the school funding bill means every school district in the state, all 852 of them, are in the dark about how much state aid they'll receive and when. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely takes a look at the impact in dollars and cents. Staffers have already put out the welcome sign for 900 elementary students in Calumet City's District 157. But with state aid in limbo, administrators are too. While we will be able to open the doors, we don't know how long the doors are going to be open. Under the new funding formula in Senate Bill 1, which Governor Rauner vetoed, Don McKinney was hoping to see a $400,000 increase in state aid. Um, if, if I could rewrite the bill and have the ideal bill, would I want more money, even more money than what I'm getting? Absolutely. But most superintendents in this state, in fact, the vast majority of the superintendents in this, in this state, as well as the Illinois Association of School Administrators, which represents school superintendents, are very much behind the bill as written. And, of course, so is Mayor Emanuel, who predicts lawmakers will override the governor. I, look, I think that they're going to work as they have in the budget to work around the governor because the governor is a stumbling block to progress. Rounders veto stands to cost CPS as much as $465 million, $215 million for teachers' pensions, plus another $250 million in a special education grant. Just trying to plan for how much state money is coming or when has school officials on pins and needles. August is when we present our tender to budget to the Board of Education. Right now we're putting in dummy numbers. Dummy numbers? Yeah, absolutely. If you don't know what you're really getting, you kind of have to uh, take a guess at what might happen. Now, both sides in this debate have been deploying a big red herring, the threat that schools may not open on time. In fact, no district has told the state it won't open as scheduled. The real question is just how long they'll stay open. For example, Constance Collins, a superintendent in Round Lake District 116, told me the fate of her system is unclear beyond November without state aid. And Erica, that district round late was, was also expecting something like four and a half million additional dollars in state money under the bill that the governor vetoed. So there's some major dollars at stake here. Certainly, you know, they're putting in these dummy numbers, the schools are. What's the timeline for them being able to know if they'll actually get the money? Their override hasn't happened yet, but there's still potential? Exactly. Well, Democrats were saying that they didn't believe they would have enough legislators in Springfield to even attempt an override until perhaps August 11th, 12th, 13th, sometime in that range. And of course, the first state checks were supposed to be mailed August 10th. Mm -hmm. So that would already put districts behind scheduling getting the money. Although if it's a few days delay, it's not significant. Yeah. If it gets much longer than that, then they have to start rejiggering things, maybe cutting programs. Okay. Derek, thank you.